Oh, and good morning. Uh, so today we've got a little bit of a different one. Uh, it's actually going to be a, a, a test more or less to see whether this format will work. Uh, so have the first uh, kind of team effort uh, gauntlet. So it's uh, essentially going to be five team members with one life each um, going against uh, basically just immediate elimination going against a gauntlet of 15 different uh, ACs that are just going to be randomly selected from um, from the pool here. So we'll you know, just kind of see how this goes. So uh, for the team here, uh, we have a mix of a uh, few builds that have been put together. Uh, namely, there were um, uh, there were three, well actually there were like five that five or six that uh, Royal sent me, uh, but there was part overlap, so I ended up being able to make three of them. And there were two left over from um, uh, from uh, Vokter's team that I didn't get a, uh, a chance to use yet, so um, these five are going to be put together. So these are going to be the... Um, oh dear god, I don't even know how to pronounce two of them, so they're just like... You'll see when they come up. Um, uh, the Bean Pepper, the Soviet Mech, and the Missile Party. Yeah, so we're, uh, <laughs> we're gonna see those as they come up, so let's see, first things first, uh, first guy going, looks like we're gonna have the 39P whatever here, uh, let's go down to it. Uh, if you're wondering about the music, uh, we're gonna have, um, the soundtrack for Empire's Dawn of the Modern World playing for this one. You know what, it's gonna be a, uh, a multi-person effort, we need to have a, a multinational soundtrack or whatever going on. There we go, the 39P83QYRFG78. We're going to call this one Greg. So, that is fighting... what exactly? Uh, da, 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 da. 27. Okay, team 27. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, 27. We got Team Tomato. We're fighting on Team Tomato. Uh, looks like number two. All right, so up against the Flamefly. Surely this must be an absolute win because the Flamefly is broken and janky as crap. Actually, you know, maybe we should make it 20 fights. Supposed to be the gauntlet after all. Yeah, no, this thing's definitely gonna win. Not even a question. Good job, Flamefly. You represent that fifth gen stuff. Yeah, he's the joke build. <laughs> that part's pretty clear. Yeah, Empires is a pretty darn fantastic game. Actually, I'm a little bit surprised that there haven't been more like it. Um, it's uh, it's basically kind of your standard RTS fare, but its setting is like a much more loose version of um, something like Command and Conquer. It's probably the, the closest I could possibly say to it. Alright, so first one is done, so... Roll all these wheels. And it looks like we're gonna have the Apis. That is. Why do I keep going all the way to the bottom? Nobody knows. Da -da 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 -da. So, the Apixionado. Or. Akshibden Dow. Hi, Bob. Alright, uh, we have Team 3. Uh, Party number two. Look. The Bathyscaf. Oh, you're gonna fight the Bath. Oh, Big White. Thought he was gonna fight the state of the art Bathyscaf type situation there for a sec. Darn it. I'm gonna see that thing show up in one of these. Ah, that build's fun. I'll absolutely love the episode that it's based on. There I go. The Homestar Runner gets a state of the art Bathyscaf type situation. Strong bad gets a fish rammed through his skull. <laughs> Standard collegiate rules. Uh, wow. 
So this thing, by the way, is basically rockets and linear guns. Um, uh, by the way, the uh, Royal, I know the missile launcher is wrong, uh, but both of the nymphs were in use. And so as a result, they were not available. Okay, so he has absolutely crushed the big white. That's fair enough. Okay. Now, let's roll team members, roll that, roll that. And who do we get? Looks like uh, we're going to have the 39p. Oh yeah, the first one. Also, you know what? No, we are going to the next track. I don't like the Everything's Peaceful in Asia track. It was like the Everything's Going Good for one of the countries we actually liked. And the music. You could tell there's some of them they just plain didn't like. Like China. <laughs> Music's awful, the units are awful. It's amazing. Um, okay, so 39P. Uh, looks like you are fighting... Team 24, number 4. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 12, 13, 14. Okay, Renegades, number 4. Oh, this should be easy. Green Witch. Go ahead and mark her off as dead in the list. And yeah, I think we are going to do 20 because that's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Not even pretend she's got a shot. The Selena itself would pretty much win this fight here. You know what this thing reminds me of? It really makes me think of uh, the Warhawk. Like the original PS1 game. Like it's got the, the heavy launches, it's got the laser cannons, it's got its uh, swarm missiles. Makes me think of that thing. Okay, so that's gone. Moving on. Alright. Looks like we've got the Soviet mech versus 29-3. Alright, where were you? You're over here someplace. There we go. Order flop. The Soviet versus 29-3, so let's just skip all the way to the bottom. 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 32, 3. Alright. Got the other Team Tomato, I suppose. Uh, versus... that can't be right, why do I have two Team Tomatoes? Anyway, uh, versus Blue Maggie. Do we got more comm music? Yeah, I don't think so. Next. How's that Rebel Barons? Whatever. Moving on. <laughs> this thing is a lot like the Metal Gear, actually. Like the Selena instead of uh, instead of the other stuff. Though I don't know if it's going to end up using its rail cannon properly. I know it's not actually a rail cannon; it's a freaking uh, linear cannon. But whatever. Same freaking difference. It's actually funny. So the other day, I uh, was over um, was over at a, a cousin's house, and you know they they like their animes and all that. Well, goodbye, Soviet. You're out. Uh, da, 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 da. Delete Soviet. All right. So first team member down. By wheel changes. And yeah, so they were watching. Um, what's it? Uh, geese, I think it was code geese. Like I'm not. I don't really tend to watch those sorts of things very much, so it was kind of one of those, you know, kind of curious where this is going to go type situations. So it kind of seemed to be something to, like, back Batman with mechs or something. Some guy with mind control powers, but at one point... Okay, it looks like we're going to have Missile Party next. Um, at one point there was this, uh, this, like, cannon in a hallway. Like, they... Like, oh no, they repurposed that railgun into a linear gun. I'm like, um... 
Hold on, I gotta look that up real quick, and... Anyway, so I, I look it up. It looks like we're fighting Team 5, number 4. Okay. Catastrophic. But anyway, I look the thing up. And, uh, yeah, Linear Gun and, um, friggin' Railgun are basically the same thing, apparently. They're both just a magnetic cannon. And basically all they did was like, okay, instead of shooting one thing, this thing is just like a cluster bomb. Like, there's no... that's not any of... none of this is correct. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of misses. Well, that was AC2 speedrun would be happy about this. this is basically, Cow's AC2 run in a nutshell it was like infinite energy, lots of missiles. It was pretty awesome. Um, I don't know why I've never actually thought of mixing um, mixing up these parts because warheads with extensions are quite nifty, actually. All right, so goodbye that thing. That's five wins now, quarter of the way through the gauntlet, and uh, only one down. Moving on. But yeah, no, that that was kind of... Seems like it was interesting. Wouldn't go back and watch it again, but it seemed like it was interesting. Alright, so we got Apis again. Truth be told, it's not really what's in the shows, but delivery that typically makes me not really watch those kinds of things. Eh... It's like, I like the robots and the concepts and everything else, it's just... Culture grind, I guess, for lack of a better way to put it. Like, man... They're in a war or whatever. And why are they trying to do the whole honorability crap? It's like, just win or don't. No one's gonna feel good about this once it's done, so don't even try. Alright, hopefully that didn't mess up stuff. I accidentally just enlarged and sh mollified the window. Alright, so the Kingfisher, surely this thing's got it. <laughs> wow. That is... Uh, that's some nice rocket sniping. But, uh, yeah, so... I guess, kind of in general, more about that show there. So, like I was saying, it just seemed to be, like, Batman with mind control powers. Who inexplicably seems to almost get himself killed falling off a roof, pretty much right off the bat. So that was unexpected. And then there was something to do with a cat and a helmet or something, I don't know. It was unfair. But, uh, I'm sure somebody will end up mentioning, like, Oh no, you've just insulted my favorite show ever. Which I say, no, that's unintentional. This wasn't my personal cup of tea. I apologize. Alright. Number seven, looks like we got the bean pepper. Good, I wanted to see this thing. Alright, bean pepper, you get over here. Need to bean pepper some things. I get the name. Okay, it's using a lot of pepper fire weapons and it's colored like a... Okay, he didn't give me a color scheme. I colored it like a bean, just put it. Alright, 22, number four. Right, 22. Is that 22? Yes, that is 22. Okay. 22, number 4. So, Mexithrones. Looks like we're fighting Littlefinger, the Chaos Ladder. Alright, this is a good matchup. Both uh, light top, heavy leg, uh, pepper builds. Interestingly, the music seems to match a tiny bit. Hopefully it's not terribly loud. I just figured this thing had a pretty extensive soundtrack, so it was pretty good for a bunch of changing soundtracks over the course of a long period of time. Alright, come on, Bean Pepper. Live! Yeah, no, Bean Pepper's got this. You know what's funny? So, okay, 
So the game that uh, the uh, music's going for in the background, that's actually the one that I tried to make a uh, Armored Core Nexus mod at one point, because it's the only one that, like, overtly said, like, here's the entire map and region and here's where all this stuff comes from. I went and tried to put all those regions in there and tried to make it a whole thing, like, you know, you have all these little squabbles going on between all these different factions, and then at the very end, just, like, a, a script triggers and there's just this invasion of different stuff. Although, trying to get... <laughs> Let's just say there were a lot of analogs for different stuff. Like, instead of little suicide drones, the only self-exploding unit in that game were Russian old ladies with powder kegs on their backs. I kid you not. <laughs> so just suddenly those out of nowhere. That oh, was a weird, weird, weird time. Uh, okay, so we got Missile Party. Yeah, what they do. And it looks like they're fighting 34-1. Alright, let's check out who that is. Number one. Ooh, Etsum made it in. Alright, Etsum has a very good chance of beating this thing. Because at least the last few times she's been pretty excellent at dodging missiles. So, alright. See if there's going to be another one down. Um, um, where are your decoys? Wait, does she have decoys? Did I take the... What? I could have... No, she has ECM and not decoys, right. Why is she not dodging, though? Usually super good at dodging stuff. Hmm. Weird. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. by Exus. Alright, and I forgot to actually discount that one loss on there, so that would be number eight. Okay. Moving on, now that I've adjusted the list. Looks like... Go. So Apis versus 9-2. Let's see. One, two, uh, why am I even doing that? There's eight. Nine is over here. Oh, okay. Well, this actually could very well go either way. It's a fairly open map, so say the fast moving quads got the advantage here. If he gets hit though, he's getting his heat up pretty high with those overboosts. Just kinda of situational? Yeah, no, he's definitely got this. It's fine. Bye bye intrepid. So next we got Missile Party versus 23-4. Which would be one of the ones that actually already happened. Or actually, uh, one of the teams that already happened, so I roughly know who it is. It's Renegades, right? Pretty sure it was. Let's assume it was. If I'm wrong, oh well, it's still a random thing. 
Uh, yeah, no, this actual thing already happened. Exact one already happened, so no, um... 17, 3. 9, 10, 11, 12. 17, 17. Ooh! Is that the... Oh no, it's the Shy God. Alright. Bye, Shy God. Unless it's an enclosed map. I mean, it kind of is. Mm, definite advantage to the missile party here, though. Not so much in the map, but just in just in general. Got a lot more going for it. Good matchup, though. All right, Shaggy, do it. Er, really? It's getting overheated from that. He's just got high heat in general. Oh, wait a minute. If it, I mean, if it stops moving for a sec, that's it. Huh. Not gonna do it? I actually can't believe he hit it with that. Not gonna do him in? No, it's gonna pop. No, oh, that's it. Really friggin' close, though. Okay. Moving on. And definitely moving on from this track. What the hell is this now? Tranquil Priya? No. Okay. So, Missile Party again, versus 30... 30-2. <laughs> right, 7, 6, 1, 0... Oh no, it's Mr. Pokey. Okay, this should be interesting, because we've got a really fast moving thing against a... Well, against a Mr. Pokey. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mr. Pokey's a weird one. It's like a deceptively fast moving stab tank. I mean, the thing is basically every other thing you see in Robot Wars. <laughs> uh, I hope that thing comes back with giant mechs. You let him get close, it's over. Yeah, those ECM pods are totally gonna do something. Actually, that's probably why the Shagahod was firing so weirdly. It was just taking that extra second to adjust. So far, Pokey's running him out pretty well. I mean, he's got a chance. That's the thing. Like, even at this point, he's still got a pretty decent chance. Because his vertical is accuracy. Uh, I mean, their accuracy sucks. It, they don't interfere. I mean, they don't get interfered with as much. But at the same time... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Dude, no. <laughs> Holy crap. If he dies now... Oh my god. How is he still alive? Well, that should definitely have finished him. Well, bye-bye Missile Party. Okay, that is not what I would have expected. <laughs> Oof. Okay, rip Missile Party. Let me jot that down. Oof. Oh, man. I love it. Okay, so who's next? So next we got Apis. Fighting who? Looks like 
Alright, so yeah, that is uh, Vokter taken out of the fight now. Uh, so far, all of Royals are still here. Let's see. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... 18, 5, right? 18, 5. Alright, the Septopod. I'm gonna say Apis has the advantage on this one. In the future, uh, one thing I might consider is just rolling all these fights ahead of time, or just at least rolling the fight list ahead of time, uh, in order to... I don't know, just kind of cut down on the general waiting for wheels to load thing. So let me know if that's something you want to do. Okay, I'm a little surprised the, uh, the Psychopod hasn't gotten roasted yet. And I'm going to be especially surprised if he actually wins this. Yeah, there we go. He started roasting. Oh, he should be done now. Sectopod is down. That is 11 fights done now. Alright, next up. We got Bean Pepper. Versus 24-3. Hello, Bean Pepper. I have accidentally deleted you. No. Stop. <laughs> load the thing I want you to load. Thank you. Okay, so. 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. 4. 24, 3. Okay. Oh, please. All right. Okay, yeah, so please is the toast by the looks of it. Actually, wait a second, he was on fire and he's still okay. I mean, he's burning for sure, but... Okay, well, he was still alive before the burn finally got him. There's that sudden tip over that happens. And that's 12. Thirty-nine P versus twenty-five two. Like friggin' versus bingo now. Okay. I think we got Firebird. Okay, let's go. Firebird with your terrible commando name. Be kind of voting for Firebird here just because, well, this AC is so dumb that I want it to win. <laughs> He's kind of a joke, but also kind of not. But I just like the idea of the Gatling gun with this shotgun. It doesn't work terribly well in most uh, situations, though. There's just kind of better alternatives for both uh, directions. Yeah, I was really considering for one of these to, um, to put in some uh, some music that I've heard that's pretty good for fights. Uh, which is stuff from, uh, and I know this sounds strange, but the uh, friggin' uh, Homestuck soundtrack. Which again, sounds strange, and good lore of the community is bizarre, but it's got some pretty good music in there. Like, if you've ever played Undertale, the, uh, the boss music for Sans, that's actually one of the tracks that came from that. Um, that's actually the, uh, the same guy, as I understand, that did a lot of the music. Might have been the same guy in general that did the music. But, uh, nope, for what it is, it's actually kind of, kind of interesting. 
Um, is, functionally speaking, while they do go off into tangents on all kinds of bizarre topics and just general like memes and stuff, it's um, the overall story starts off as just kind of an interesting. I don't know. It's like Jumanji on friggin' LSD. That's how I would describe that whole thing. So, if you skip the dialogue and just listen to the music with the pretty pictures, like, wow, this is trippy as crap. Oh, by the way, uh, so missile parties, or not missile party, but uh, their nine P's gone. You should probably mention that, huh? All right, so friggin', let me add that to the list. So we are still on 12, then. Okay, so let's apply the changes. We got two surviving. The music is pretty fitting for this. And there's one hell of a friggin' laggy as crap load right there. Just rolling the wheel for a billion years. Alright, so we got Apis versus 20 dash whatever this decides to load eventually. Since I accidentally cancelled out of it. Alright, Apis versus who? All right, sport a flop, number one. Oh no, I think you're fighting one of your own guys. Oh, Fortress Squad, now you're fine. I don't mean that to be offensive. I just, I just mean I don't see Fortress Squad winning this, but let's see. Um, for a second there, I thought he actually was gonna fight the Soviet Mac, but no. So yeah, like I was saying, actually no wait, the Fortress Squad actually might win this. Because if they do end up on just a long-range firefight, he's got a major advantage. He's got some pretty hefty firepower. No! The, the remaining team members changed sides, that's what happened here. Or maybe these were the guys that joined with whatever friggin' uh, establishment was there. And these five were the rebels or something, just getting squashed right now. No! Appus, you did so well. Alright, well... Friggin' Fight 13 is not looking so hot. <laughs> okay, so that leaves only the Bean Pepper to pull this off, so I'm gonna go ahead and just switch over to him. Just load up that save file. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Pep Bean Pepper, you're the champion we all need. Alright. 35-1. This thing actually has a pretty decent chance. Alright, 38, 37, 36, 35. Oh dear god, no. That is, nope. Okay, rip run. I'm sorry, but rip run more than likely. Um, yeah, I feel like 20 is a good number for this, though. Uh, for, uh, for like a gauntlet type situation. Because it, it adds enough, like, the, the one uh, AC gauntlet is for uh, 12 fights. Scaling it up to 20 seems to work pretty well because usually it's, you know, the losses are going to be pretty random. He's actually doing it! Like, there's no way he should have pulled off some of these dodges and they were pure luck, but man. No, don't lose now! You got this! You got this! Like I was saying, he maybe should not have been able to pull off some of those dodges, and now it's over. No! The world's jankiest rebellion is getting crushed right now. Stay away from that thing. Uh, it wasn't candy. The missile wasn't candy. No. Bean pepper. All right. I'm sorry. That's the end of the bean pepper rebellion. Uh, let me know if you have any other requests. And yeah, you know what? I, I like this. So um, yeah. Five member uh, team competitions are a thing. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Just like five or under, whatever. Team competitions. Make it a thing. See you next time. Or gauntlets, not competition. Yeah, see you next time.